Hey everybody, my name is Ahmed and welcome to another fun demo that is built using AWS serverless uh, technologies. In time of lockdown, we often uh, have to work from home and some of us as well have to maybe sit while doing so. So my kids have developed this uh, bad habit of sitting too close to the TV, especially when their favorite cartoon show is on. So I decided to develop this web application using virtual reality that helps me monitor them while working, uh, while in conference calls, without really having to, to go to them and uh, talk them out of it. Uh, so uh, without further ado, uh, let us see um, and dive deeper into this demo and see how it is built. First, you can uh, use a cheap Raspberry Pi with an installed uh, proximity sensor. I also used a webcam to do some recognition which we're going to be talking about later and let's get to it. Okay so first thing let us uh, pause the video a little bit uh, so we can talk and then put on the command panel or the control panel. Uh, let us go to the distance monitor, the first thing we want to do. And let us turn on the lights here. And turn on the proximity sensor. So now as you can see in real time, I am monitoring the child's distance from the TV. I'm also going to ask him right now to step closer to the TV so that we can see this. As you can see now, he is almost in the red zone, or he is in the red zone. Uh, so I'm going to ask him please to go back. Uh, and this is what he's going to do. He's going back a little bit, all the way back to where he was. Now, let us also see how we can detect what the child is watching. Uh, so now we are watching a, a Pink Panther cartoon on Nickelodeon Jr., so I'm going to put back the cartoon on and I'm going to take an on-demand photo of what they are watching. So let us do that. Here I'm going to click on the camera and before that I'm going to put on the status bar. So as you can see now there is no label detected. Take one picture. Takes a little bit of time. To upload the picture from the Raspberry Pi to the cloud. And here you go. So now we can see that he's watching Nickelodeon Jr. So I'm gonna pause the video a little bit again. Or or maybe not. Now the next step is uh, I is that to explain this a little bit. So I have a, a script running on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that takes a photo every 10 minutes and uploads it to the AWS cloud for analysis uh, with the help of Amazon recognition custom labels. Basically, it detects the logos uh, on the top left of the TV channel and reports back the result. I can also run this on demand if needed uh, by clicking on the camera as you've seen. So now let us uh, turn on uh, Fiona uh, to ask her a couple of questions and see what is next. So Fiona is my conversational bot. We're going to first ask her uh, saying just uh, hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Good. So the next step is to check um, the channel history. What have they been watching over time? So I'm going to ask her that also. Channel history, please. Sorry, I didn't get that. Okay, my bad. Channel history, please. Please turn on the tablet to view the TV channel history. Okay, so let us go to the tablet. Tablet statistics. I'm going to turn on that tablet, apparently. And here I can see the historical or statistics that has been uploaded to the cloud and return back uh, in the form of a graph. Let us get closer to it. Let's switch the camera to the first person. Move with the mouse. Oops. 
as you can see, 25% uh, is undetected. Uh, that is perfectly fine. We're going to talk about this. Um, I was in Disney, not surprised, 18%, Nickelodeon Jr., 12%, and so on. This is for the total time uh, of watching. Uh, let us turn this back off. And you can also use QuickSight, and I'm using QuickSight for more in-depth uh, analysis of the demo. Let us turn off the uh, status monitor here. Okay, so what's next? Uh, let us ask uh, Fiona again uh, to explain further this, this demo. So I'm going to ask Fiona, explain this demo. Sure, I'll tell you all about. But before that, let us do a trivia game. Want to play? Okay, so let's play. So let's go to the video or the camera, sorry. Uh, play a game. And okay, uh, first let us uh, turn on the lights again and uh, tell her to Play game. Let's play. It's all AWS cloud based and it is raining services. So first question is, which AWS service and object storage service? Okay, I should know that. So uh, let's go closer to the game. Okay, so an object storage service, I guess that is Amazon S3. Good job. Now which AI services allow you to recognize images? Recognize images, that would be recognition. Good job. A fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure APIs at any scale. Okay, that is Lambda. Oops, that is incorrect. Try again. My bad, I should know that. So it is API Gateway for sure. Good job. A service for building conversational interfaces into any application using voice and text. All right, so that should be Lex. Good job. Let's you run code without provisioning or managing servers. Okay, that's one of my favorites. Nice. A service that turns text into lifelike speech allowing you to create applications that talk like me is that Polly? yep that is right now which service is a fast cloud-powered business intelligence service that makes it easy to deliver insights to everyone in your organization great which one is a managed cloud service that lets connected devices easily and securely interact with cloud applications and other devices Okay, that should be IoT Core. Great. Last question. A fast content delivery network, CDN, service that securely delivers data, videos, applications, and APIs? Hooray. You won. Now let's see the architecture. Okay, this guy's been doing a small dance for us. So uh, let us now ask Fiona again to explain this architecture. Explain this demo. Sure, I'll tell you all about, but before that, let us do a trivia game. Want to play? You have already finished the game. Now learn about the solution. Oh, okay, my bad. So let us go to the whiteboard. Okay, here we can see the complete architecture. Let us zoom out a little bit, but it's a bit dark, so I'm going to ask Fiona to toggle the lights. Toggle the lights. Spotlight toggled. Okay, thank you, Fiona. So, here is the uh, overall architecture. I'm trying to be quick. So, we have a Raspberry Pi, a webcam, and an ultrasound sensor connected to it, as you've seen. The sensor readings are being taken uh, on by the GPIO uh, onboard uh, driver, and we have the Boto3, the Python IoT SDK, is pushing that to a topic on AWS Core, uh, that is for the uh, distance sensor, and we are uh, subscribed to this topic from our uh, static website. 
and also we are uploading on demand uh, images of the TV as well as every 10 minutes to an image bucket. This image bucket is triggering uh, a lambda function. This function is invoking a recognition custom label, sending it the image and getting back the result. We are saving the results here in uh, a bucket. Uh, and from the website, at the very core of this uh, demo, uh, we are using standard uh, HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. We're using JavaScript SDK from AWS to integrate with all the AWS services. Uh, we are also proxying the Lambda behind an API gateway uh, for security reasons and for wrapping uh, reasons. Uh, we are also using uh, CloudFront uh, to deliver this website uh, to give us the option of uh, HTTPS as well as being closer to uh, each uh, viewer, closer to the edge. And uh, last but definitely not the least, uh, we are also uh, talking or integrating uh, through the JavaScript SDK to Poly and Lex, uh, where you have seen them in this demo. Uh, this is a pure serverless solution. Uh, there is no server involved uh, whatsoever in this. So what if I want to learn more? Let us ask Fiona now. I want to learn more. Open the TV cupboard door to know how. Okay, uh, so let us go back to the tablet, perhaps, and then go zoom out. So let us turn on or open this door. Oops, that cannot be it. Let's wrap it. So maybe this door. Let's go back to the camera movement here with my arrow keys. Let's turn on this one. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I can start reading Certified Solutions Architect Study Guide to learn more. And uh, that is uh, cool, good stuff. Let us close this back. So now let us uh, maybe ask Fiona or, or thank Fiona and tell her to uh, tell her goodbye. Goodbye, Fiona. Thanks for checking up on us. You can head to the exit door now. Okay, good stuff. So let's head to the exit door. Okay, let's open the door. And that's it.